Taylor Swift is making news again, but not just in the music world. Swift recently endorsed Kamala Harris for president and is already having a ripple effect across the political landscape. Hillary Clinton herself praised Swift, calling her endorsement a game changer and highlighting Swift's resilience in taking control of her own narrative. Clinton said on the On With Kara Swisher podcast, quote, she's someone who stood up for herself time and time again from reclaiming her music to fighting back in court. She's shown incredible strength. Clinton also didn't shy away from taking a jab at Swift's critics, saying the endorsement adds major momentum to Kamala Harris's campaign. But that's not all that Hillary Clinton had to talk about. Um, she also had a lot to say, guys, <laughs> about her emotional reaction to former President Trump's recent guilty verdict in the Stormy Daniels uh, hush money trust. I got tears in my eyes then because this man has escaped accountability his entire life. The case, which was mistakenly called a hush money case, was an election interference case. Why did he do what he did? He did it to try to keep the information from the American public so that they wouldn't turn away from him and vote for me. So it, it, it's a pretty clear case of election interference. And when you heard that he had been convicted, there had to be, you're human, there had to be a side of you after enduring months of hearing lock her up, thinking, right, right. this is the person who's actually facing time in jail. Looks like karma to me. <laughs> yeah, but Hillary he quote. He's not going to jail. I mean, it's possible. Sentencing is after the election. Not. Hillary Clinton will go to jail for Donald Trump does. That much I can ah, hear. Yeah, I do agree with I'm I'm totally totally agree. Agree. <laughs> and probably should, too. Come on, like, come on. I think she was doing that on purpose. You think she said karma on purpose day? Oh, because it's Taylor Swift's song? Yeah. Clever. Clever, Clever. right? Clever. Clever. Hillary, we see you help. But, but the thing is, though, like, like, I will say this, though. I'm not the biggest fan of Taylor Swift, although I do think everybody has at least one Taylor Swift song on their on their Apple iTunes player. At least That's one. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet money on that. Kendrick However, with I, Hurst, I Spice, the remix. Well, you know Kendrick Lamar's on there. But, uh, but again, that Taylor Swift endorsement of Kamala Harris was one of the most well-written pieces of literature I've ever re read on mm -hmm. social media. Like, she was so that thing. Yeah, to the she point did that thing through GPT six times. Very well written. I'm said I said, okay, this is good. I almost liked it, and I don't, I don't even follow the girl, nothing like that. But I did almost like the post. I didn't, of course, but I don't like Hillary Clinton riding on the bandwagon of the Taylor Swift and Kamala Harris stuff. I also Hillary Clinton is coming out with a memoir. You guys know I like to read like memoirs. She's you coming out with a memoir. memoir. And she's coming to Philadelphia, so I was going to go, and then I was going to pay for it to go. She wants me to give her $250 to attend a memoir, a reading of hers. Is she crazy? I mean, you got to hear her. You got to hear her. Lock her up. Okay. You got to hear her. In the first, like, 10 rows where you get, like, in in front, and you get a picture with her, two hundred and fifty dollars. You get a picture? Oh, yeah, that's worth the two hundred and fifty. That's. But then the cheapest one is like seventy dollars. Is in the back. Dex, you could have a picture of the queen who never was. Oh, like, who never like, was. <laughs> you're not, I'm surprised you're not going. You're not going to go. Not for two fifty. Ty sent me something the okay, other I day. We should, let's do a GoFundMe. All right, um, we were going to GoFundMe after the show. Yeah, yeah. Dex to take a picture with Hillary Clinton. Yo, I swear to God, really, for real, we should really do a GoFundMe. I would. I'll go. But let's I'll make go. it five hundred so I can go with you. Deal. <laughs> you want to so get mine when I first walk up pictures of her, and I'll get yours too. You want a little blicky, uh, blicky with the sticky? Um, Trump, uh, though, was not fan of any of this. Uh, he tweeted <laughs> after all. Remember a couple of weeks ago, we talked about Trump retweeting fake Taylor Swift posts and saying, "I accept yes, Taylor yes, Swift's endorsement." Yes, yes I do. Two weeks later, I hate Taylor Swift! Exclamation point! What the hell? <laughs> And he is yet to come out to say that that was um, he was hacked or anything like that. Yeah, like, deleted okay. it. Yeah, it's 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 there. It's crazy. I hate Taylor Swift, <laughs> and that's probably you know that that explains that second assassination. Tip, I think. And this is also the, a person who is running to be president of the United States of president America. of the yeah. United States of America. Yeah. Like we're cooked. Okay. This fans don't care. They're just stupid as <laughs> <laughs> 
um yeah taylor swift's not the person you want beef with especially in um 2024 barely 